Tone Freaks and welcome to another episode of Tone Quest. Uh, alam ko madalang ako mag-post ng videos lately because I'm having trouble finding a good and stable way of income. And I was demonetized by YouTube so wala na, hindi, hindi kasama YouTube sa income ko. I'm just doing this for free. And so yan, di ako makagawa ng, ano, ng mga videos kasi I got more important things to do to feed my family. Pero ngayon may video tayo kasi um, something just came in. Um, it's a guitar. It's an acoustic guitar from one of my friends. And over the years kung gitarista ka, um, may mapupulot kang one or two side talents. One is recording. In, one, in my case, it's recording and ano, and becoming a music producer, audio and music producer and teacher, syempre, di ba? And the other talent is, uh, yung talent, pero parang syempre, pra practically, matututunan mo talaga to eh, when you're when you're a guitar player. Um, guitar setup. Okay. Alright, so, we are gonna set up this guitar in real time. This is a uh, D&D. I'm from the sister of my friend Miguel Dayang Hiram. Miguel, the most poggy bass player in the world. Pero mas poggy, mas magaling na ako mag-bass sa kanya. <laughs> okay lang. So anyway, um, sa D&D ako sa guitar. It sounds decent kasi it's, par it's parlor sized. So pero, ang um, pinapagawa niya dito ay ibaba yung action na ako sa guitar. So that's our episode for today. The Guitar 101, I mean, the 101 on acoustic guitar setup. How to adjust the action. Alright. Okay, first of all, um, let's change camera angles. Alright, we're back. And uh, first of all, before we start um, doing anything, we have to um, get our tools ready or our paraphernalia. I think it's a good angle for the guitar. Yeah, we don't need to uh, the headstock. Dito lang. Okay, first tool is okay, the tuner. Oh, this is for later. The second one is to a set of Allen wrenches that uh, we need to find the uh, exact um, spot or the exact uh, thickness of the Allen wrench. Para ito, ito yung exactong thickness. Okay, there are two ways to, uh, to set up the action of an acoustic guitar. I mean, three, two to three ways. Um, the first one is to adjust the thrust strut. Usually found here. Kung may kita nyo, uh, di ko lang kung may kita nyo dyan, meron butas dyan, meron butas dyan, and nandyan yung thrust strut sa loob ng, baga sa likod ng neck, dito, sa baba. Sa 5mm, ano, 5mm, uh, ano, Allen wrench. Okay, so we fit that in. And you'd want to tighten it. How do we tighten the, uh, how do we tighten it? Simple. You just rotate, I mean, click it towards you. Tama ba? Ay, hindi. Mali. Click it away from you. Okay. You click it away from you pala. <laughs> Balik that towards you. Eh, dapat nandito yun. Okay. Pihit pa kanan. Clockwise. Clockwise ang tightening. Okay. Medyo hinigpitan ko ng todo para makita natin kung makukuha dito. Yan. Okay. Nasintonado siya na, na siya. Siyempre. Kasi hinigpitan mo na yung Allen wrench. So, bale, hindi mo kailangan i-detune. I don't do it. I don't detune it. So, tinitinan ko lang kung makukuha yung pagbaba. Ito. Okay. Isa pa. Okay. Sige, isa pang click. Usually, paunti-unti lang talaga to eh. Pero dahil, ano, medyo sanay na ako. At hindi ko na kailangan magdahan-dahan. Feel ko na to eh. Ayan. Oh! Ano ako? Ayan. Click pa. Ayan. Click pa more. Okay. Alright. Okay, 
medyo may buzz na ng konti at hindi pa rin nakuha hindi ko na-achieve yung gusto kong baba so kasi gusto yata ng friend ko yung mabang, babang, mab, mababang mababa talaga yung action so the other way to um nababaan yung action is through the bridge usually an electric guitar ina Allen wrench lang din or ano, pero dito sa acoustic guitar hindi, we are going to sand off some of the bridge so kailangan lilihain natin yung bridge and yun na, kailangan na natin mag detune medyo matagal yung video na to sigurado kasi real time kong gagawin to eh so yan i-ano na natin luwagan na natin yung strings you can use this a string winder can buy it any JB music or any one of those uh, music stores JB Occupy it's not it's not a special tool okay kapag maluwag medyo maluwag luwag na ng konti at try mo ang hatakin hindi pa pwede so sige pa luwag pa Medyo ano yun, mahigpit talaga yung pagkaan eh. Okay. So fast forward ko na yung mga yun. Yan, medyo maangat na. Ayos. Okay, sige pa. Kunti pa. Kunti lang pa. Right. Nakaon ba yung video ko? Ay, nakaon naman pala. Right. Yan. Okay. Okay, the the hazard of this, of this style na kela mong babaan tong ano, babaan tong um to. Ito yung bridge. Tabi muna natin yung acoustic guitar ha. Lagi muna natin dito. Okay. Yung hazard lang nito is kung nalagpasan mo ng nababaan mo ng todo. So, hassle, di ba? So, ang gawin mo, lagyan mo na ng mark yung ano mo, yung kung saan mo gustong tabasin, kumbaga. Okay. Put a mark. Put a mark on it. just use this then mapuli siya okay, I'll just use this I'll put a mark on it I'm gonna scratch off just a few few millimeters dapat hindi mo ilalagpas ng grabe and put a mark there so that's my mark that's just a few millimeters yan oh. dapat umabot lang dyan yung ano mo yan alright and then the next thing to do is get sandpaper alright Sandpaper. Used yung mga sandpaper ko kasi parang lang hindi naman sayang, di ba? Ganun ako magano. Okay. So, we get the uh, pinaka-coarse na sandpaper. Lagi mo sa sanding block. And then, okay, just, yun yung mark. Adyan mark. And then, just sand away. Sand away, folks. Nothing special. Just do this. Make sure diretso yung pag-sand mo and you're not applying weight on right or the right side or the left side just the uh, on the center lang okay more pa more pa yan medyo hindi stable yung lamesa ko sang sang yan sang yan yung lamesa ko That's a wonderful thing if you're a guitar player. Parang matututunan mo to practically kasi ako wala akong pera noon eh na magpa-setup, magano. So, I really did things myself and marami akong maling ginawa. Pero natuto ko. Maraming marami akong maling ano, diskarte, 'di ba? Para 
Oy, mali yung pagano ko diyan, mali yung pagano ko diyan, pero natuto ako ng ng maayos. Okay. Dito lang sa sa ganitong diskarte, the only problem is syempre, your your sanding, 'di ba? Your sanding down, hindi mo na mababalik 'to. Once you sand things down, once you get the the action you want na mababa, hindi mo na maibabalik yung taas nito. So, you better be sure kung tama yung um, yung gagawin mong pagbaba ng action. Kasi minsan, it's not always better eh, na mababa yung action ng gitara mo. Sa umpisa lang gusto mo yun, pero as I've learned after a few after years of playing, masarap din ang mataas-taas yung action. Parang yung vibrations ng strings, mas ramdam ko. Tapos, makakapag-slide guitar ka na hindi nahihirapan masyado. Pero hindi ko makakashrade. Hindi ko maging shrader. Kaya ng konti sa fine. And as you can see, maabot-abot na tayo dun sa line na minark natin. Make sure diretso yung pag-sand mo na hindi walang angle kasi minsan nag-sand ako naka-angle pala ako <laughs> kaya minsan parang uy, nangyari sa ano ko hindi parang knife angle Kasi hindi maganda yun okay. okay, so do this unti-unti siguro a millimeter at a time if you sanded if you're sanding one millimeter uh, make sure that uh after that, check muna bago ka mag-ano ulit. Di ba? Okay. Yun yung problema eh. Kasi, kung dinare-derecho mo, tapos hindi mo consider yung ano, yung baka sumobrang baba nung ano mo, yari, ang hirap ng paangating ulit. Bibili ka na naman ng bagong bridge. <laughs> okay lang, mura lang naman ang mga bridge na ganito. Tsaka may extra ako dyan. Kung nagkamali ako. All right, and I think there we achieved it on that on the line itself. Ganda, okay. Yeah. Orientation is here. Yeah, yeah. Orientation. Yeah. Oops. Ano ba? De. Yan. Yan orientation. Okay. So uh, yeah. Put uh, the bridge like so. Okay. Tina natin. Kung bumaba na, ay bumaba na. Okay. Get your string winder at wind it up. I'm sure yung truss rod ay adjust na naman natin. Baka lubugan natin ang konti after nito. Kasi bumaba na yung bridge. natin yung action I think I think we nailed it the first time I think we nailed it the first time. Uh, let's tune it again para lang sigurado. Uh, Alright. Tsaka slide check natin kung makakapag-slide tayo using this action kahit sobrang baba. Ang baba! So pwede ko pa i-adjust yung pwede ko pa i-adjust yung yung uh, thrust rod. Luwagin ko pa ng konti para lang magkaroon ng relief. Ang baba eh. Sipi mo, 1 mm, 1 mm lang inaano natin ang baba na. Siguro dapat half mm lang. Ano. Yan. Low 
buzzing. May konting buzz. So, luwagan natin ng konting-konti. Para lang masaya tayo. Okay. Towards us this time. Yan. Yan. konting buzz pa pero wala um, pwede pong anuhin luwagan pa natin ng konti baka sumobrang kapit kasi kanina eh trinay natin kasi kanina trinay natin kunin lang sa trash rod yung ano eh, yung action eh. and the third one the third um um technique para pababa natin tatlo pa nga tong diskarte is yung sa nut pwede natin baba pwede pa natin i-shave yung nut pero ito kasi may glue eh So, medyo kailangan mo tanggalin yun. Know? Thank God na hindi natin kailangan tanggalin yun. Know? At nakuha na natin yun. to ano, adjust pa si you know um just stick in an allen wrench and yank it down all right all right that's it for today um thank you for sticking with me um thank you for watching this uh, okay pa siya slide kaya pa niya yung slide guitar kaya pa niya magano ng slide na hindi masyadong ano sumasabit and that's it if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share my other videos you can also Join my Patreon community. It's um, patreon.com slash And there's online tips there. There's um, online uh, online tutorials, uh, recording tips, and whatnot. So thank you so much, Showbiz.